Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. I am Preeti. Recently, we released a new product called as Expense Claim Request in Power Apps that we made uh, using Power Apps, Power Automate, and as well as Power Cell. So, Power Apps we used for designing the forms and all, and Power Automate we used for all the approval process. And Power Cell we used for to generate all the set point list and library for the time saving. So, what is an expense claim request? Expense claim request is when an employee asks their company to pay them back for money they already spent on work things like travel or meals. They give all the details and the receipts, and after approval, the company pays them back. So many of the organization uh, are using this expense claim request as you know. So uh, recently uh, also a few days back we made uh, this application for a client, one of our client uh, and uh, we thought like we would we will also create an application like this so that it will be helpful for you all. First of all, I will tell you what are the approvals over here throughout the process and later I will tell you like uh, how you can use this expense claim request application. So let's move ahead to the next screen. You can see uh, there are three level of approvals. One is line manager, HR team and HRS manager. So user will submit a new expense claim. Uh, you can uh, also submit multiple claims uh, through the process. So after submitting that uh, claim, it will come to the line manager and then it will go to the HR team and then the third level approval is HRS manager. So line manager will be selected by the specific user only. HR team will be multiple people uh, like uh, you can uh, like this claim uh, can be approved by multiple people and HRS manager also there will be multiple people in that uh, group. So they can uh, like final approval uh, they can do. Once the user will submit the request, it will come to the line manager. Line manager will approve or reject uh, like uh, you, they can view and they can approve or reject that item. So if they will approve, then it will go to the HR team. If they will approve, also they will get the send uh, like email notification. Um, like in each approval process, user will get the notification of approve or rejected mail. So once they will, uh, once the line manager will approve, uh, like HR team will be available. So HR team, uh, same thing like HR team, uh, they can approve or reject. So additionally, what we have done, uh, the HR team will get a link in uh, inside the email notification where we have done the deep linking. So if they want to update any particular item for a specific user, they can click that link and they can uh, like. Uh, navigate to that power apps uh, edit page like edit screen where they can edit or modify the changes of that particular item and then we will think that yes it is approved by the hr team if they will reject then the uh, um, user will get the notified like uh, uh, it, hr team has been rejected your item and if it is approved then also they will get the that specific employee will get the email like it is has been uh, approved by the HR team. Once the HR team will approve, then it will go to the HRS manager. So HR manager, uh, HRS manager will approve and reject uh, the same thing. So if they will approve, then uh, it will go to the email no successful notification to the employee that HRS manager already approved. And then finally, once the HRS manager will approve, finally it will generate a PDF where the PDF uh, like it will go to all the approvers, employees and additionally we added one um, group that is called financial team. So that's it in Power Automate we have done in one flow. So next uh, discuss about this application. You can see this is my expense claim request application where you can see the right top uh, side uh, the current uh, user image and the left side you can see the company logo. So it is also clickable you can see if you will click on this it will clickable and uh, here you can see like uh, whenever you are coming to this page the current user name full name will be display over here with a welcome and here you can see there are five buttons new expense my expenses admin settings all expenses and expense dashboard so here these two will be available for all the users new expense and my expenses 
where admin settings button will only visible to the admin people and this all expenses and expenses dashboard will only visible to the line manager and HR team and HRS manager. For this application, we have used the data sources SharePoint. First of all, let me show you all the SharePoint list and libraries that I have used for this application. So here you can see this is my uh, total there are three lists and one library the left navigation you can see one two three are list and uh, sorry one two three these three are list and this pdf file will be a library a uh, document library where we are storing all the pdf files after the final approbation so you can see expense claim details is my master list where request id we are generating a unique id of each user you can see exp hyphen claim hyphen 65709 so this is a unique id for a specific user and this is the employee name is external user suppose uh, you want to submit a claim uh, for the external user then uh, for that purpose we created this column and home unit on behalf of and company name all these are the various type of uh, uh, columns with the uh, different data types are there and this is uh, uh, this is another list we have used for the repeating section i will show you uh, like uh, uh, in this uh, um, video and then uh, this is uh, like as i told you we are storing all the pdf files for all the employees over here after final approbation and this one is admin option list where we are um, like uh, managing all the uh, uh, all the data so just managing all the admin option over here or admin setting over here so let me move to the application i will tell you here the admin settings you can see the button over here it will only visible to the admin people once you will click on this you can uh, see all the company information like company logo company name company address also you can change the background theme color header color button color and all the screen titles throughout the application you can just change over here whatever you want to change uh, over here you can just update and click on this update button it will uh, like uh, it will change then you need to uh, make sure you need to refresh this application then only it will affect it everywhere suppose uh, you have taken this application and you want to change this title you want to change this company logo then directly you just tap and click over here you can like uh, um, you can select any company logo or company image over here and then uh, you can change the company name over here and then you once you will click on this it will update over here and then once you will refresh this uh, uh, application then uh, you can see everywhere like so that reflection you can see everywhere throughout the application also if you go to the admin option it will also change over here suppose hr team you want to add more people onto this then directly you can come over this admin settings and then uh, hr team will be there you can just add their name and then you can update it will update everywhere next let me quickly tell you uh, like uh, all the features over here in this application you can see once you will click on the new expense uh, this one is coming by default the name and uh, uh, you can see uh, the date is also by default it is coming today's date and uh, like if you want to uh, submit any expense claim as an external user you just click on this and you just need to enter the name like on behalf of and the company name you just need to put and reimbursement currency uh, i have just added this much so you can select any of this one and cost center you can put uh, as per your piece line manager is mandatory field where you can uh, like uh, suppose i will give a tick then uh, it will go to the first approval as a line manager that is chosen by this specific user and this bank account details you need to put over here bank name account number bank address and attachment also if you want to put you can just provide the attachment only here you can just make sure you just need to put the pdfs and expenses borne by employee like i have shown you a different uh, yes this list expenses borne by employee as it is a repeating section so those data are saving over here so like you need to select this date and miscellaneous you just need to put flight uh, here you need to choose 
is as it is mandatory field so you need to choose a date expense currency you can put usd you can put euro anything what you want description is mandatory you need to put over here and suppose i will put amount as 200 and then fx rate suppose i will put 0 0.1 then it will calculate amount multiplication with the fx rate the total will be 20. so the fx rate is depending upon this expense currency suppose you are putting euro then for that euro currency the fx rate is different suppose 0 0.3 and it will calculate with 200 and then the total will be displayed over here whatever the total amount uh, whatever you will add like repeating section data all the total amount will be calculated and display over here you can see and the usd you can see over here in the grand total it is whenever you are choosing a reimbursement currency value it is reflecting over here okay and if there are some validation like we can see on behalf of company name you need to put mandatory field and if you not put uh, it's like if you will not put the value then the submit button will be in disable mode if you already filled the value and you will come over here the submit field will be enabled you can see i have just written what are the mandatory field over here and the reset button will help you to reset all the fields in this application or in this uh, screen uh, so you can see whatever i have added the uh, value it already reset uh, by using this button next i will move to the my expenses so where you can see your own expenses in this screen suppose uh, you have already uh, submitted 10 items so you can see all the 10 items over here once you will click on this scroll bar or scroll navigation you can see all your details over here also you can filter out this one like suppose i will filter out the status as line manager pending suppose there are no value or data so it will show no items to display with this above filter and suppose i will choose line manager approved or i will put something initiated as value is not there initiated is there you can see the initiated value is filtering also along with this status value you can put the date as well suppose i will put something to and okay then you can see all the initiated value with the date and uh, you can see in the below all the details of the specific user you can see the highlighted gray color so of this one it is displaying all these values you can see expense spawned by employee it is retrieving from that specific list grand total you can see if you have some file then you can select and if you view file it will open in a new tab suppose this one so there is no attachment so I cannot show you so suppose i will remove the filter out over here and then we will see you can see the reset button is there to reset the date field suppose this one i will choose you can see here there is a uh, a file pdf file so once you'll click on this view file you can see in a new tab so this is the all about the my expense screen suppose again you want to uh, submit a new expense then you can click directly over here and then it will go to uh, this screen this where you can uh, add a new expense and then i will elaborate all expenses so here this screen is only visible to the admin people or the approvers line manager at um, hr team and hrs manager where they can see all the employees detail all employees detail uh, all the uh, expenses details so here also you can choose any of the status over here and uh, you can filter out the employee or expenses based upon this suppose i will choose lydia you can see here it will come and you can see line manager rejected line chart team pending you can see updated status also the date also you can choose something whatever you want so in the today's uh, date nothing is there so that's why it is not showing also you can filter out the data or expenses based on the external user you can see once you will enable this one these are the two external data so external user information and the details you can see over here next i will tell you expense dashboard so uh, whenever you will come to this screen it is also visible to only the approvers all the approvers so here we can see 
the total number of expense claim uh, and pending claims approved and rejected here you can see in the left navigation everything it is displaying and also you can filter out the data over here suppose i will uh, filter out something and i will choose flight and then i will choose something one and then i will choose 14 you can see yeah you can see the miscellaneous with total per employee so here the flight uh, i have filtered out the miscellaneous flight and you can see all the details over here and also the left side you can see the data is also filtering out based on your filtration and you can see here the top is a back to all expenses so once you will click on this it will back to this screen where you can see all the user information over here so this is all about the expense claim request application features now i will just show you how you will get the email via outlook and as well as teams here already I have uh, tested this application so I have some demo I can show you once the user will submit the request you can see this one uh, the mail will come with this expense claim ID and uh, the PDF also it will come and you can see user can see the repeating data with the repeating uh, table you can see like this and suppose uh, the line manager first approval is line manager once the line manager will reject it will come like this it will also get uh, uh, the, this email will get the employee only and also you can see uh, new expense claim form submitted the same thing I will show you the rejected is also same thing suppose uh, the expense claim is approved by someone then it will come like this like uh, you can see the line manager comment is okay with the base figure this one and um, suppose uh, you can see the approve and reject uh, mail will uh, like it's coming like this with approve and reject button the same thing teams also you will get approve and reject button and uh, suppose uh, yes another one thing is as i told you hr team will get a link like this so once you will click on this you can see it is directly opening that edit form expense claim edit form where you can see all the data and if like you are the hr and you want to modify something over here then you can change something and then you can click on this update it will update throughout the application and also the user will or employee will get the notification that hr team has been modified your data with this uh, particular data with these details you can see and uh, uh, you can see like this so after the final approbation we are adding another team uh, like that is called as finance team we are just sending the pdf uh, to the finance team including you can see the employee the hr team hrs manager including everyone uh, we are just adding financial team where they can get the final pdf uh, file of the specific employee so this is all about the application and also if you want to know more details about this application you just visit to this page spguides.com download power apps expense claim request application i will just send this link in the description box below also to download this application also i will send the link in the description box you can just visit uh, uh, like in the link below and here you can see we are just offering this application with discount 100 of, of discount and uh, you can see you can get all the details over here i just explained everything in this app uh, in this screen you just go through it once and you will get to know what exactly we have done also if you want to get this product only then the price will be 499 and we are just offering it 399 dollar and also we have a product bundle uh, where you can see all these five application if you want to purchase it the main uh, like uh, the original price is 2599 dollar but we are giving discount in uh, on of uh, 1499 dollar if you want you can purchase over here just click on this and you will get the link uh, you will uh, get the purchase link and uh, suppose you want like uh, any type of requirement if you have in power platform then you can just do contact us we will help you out surely so let's download this application and just play with it if you really like this video kindly like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this thank you and have a nice day